Okay, we're here at the home of uh, Liam Paisley, uh, better known as uh, Hopper Paisley, who races in the East Coast Fed at the moment. Uh, he's a top man on the channel for a lot of years now. He is. Uh, he was in the South Road Fed and he left the South Road Fed and went back to the East Coast uh, Fed. But his race, it didn't matter where he was, he won the Meditorious Awards uh, champion channel pigeon in the South Road Fed. Just unbelievable flying. You want really good channel pigeons. This is the man beside me that you need to get some of the pigeons. I just ask you, Hopper. You know, when did the family and all get started in pigeons? Yeah, I started there. Uh, my parents, my grandparents, are pigeon people. Uh, my, my mother and father things started rising in the early seventies. Uh, I started. I took an interest. And I was about seventy in the day and. Uh, took over just from the father, gave him a hand out and uh, that was around 86, 87 and that's where they started there. Uh, These were always successful because I remember always. your father's uh, name yeah. done really well. They done, the mother and father flew well, uh, we took over in uh, 86, uh, they used to fly the old uh, walk and shaws, cathartic pigeons. They were the proper pigeons. Uh, they weren't, they were getting in one week and not getting in the, you know, the next week, we are going to seesaw one week down the next. And when we the bar, we just said, well, things are going to change. So we went in 86, we went to Tommy Morehouse. Mm -hmm. And uh, we got the Bushard pigeons in 86 off Tommy and never looked back. We were probably the best pigeons. We yeah. hadn't won everything with them. We out, out to France, at, out to France, Seven Kings Cup, Tour National, OSR, Tilly. Uh, you name it, we won it. First nine on the, in the Fed in the East Coast Federation was a record going back. I know they were, they were good, good pigeons. Yeah. And what year did you start racing here on your own? Uh, I had a clearing sale in 2007. Uh, the father died in 2001, the mother died in 2004. The house was left to the brother. Uh, he married uh, an Australian girl and he sold up in 2007. Went to Australia, that's what we done. So I had to get rid of the pigeons in 2007. And we started back here in 2010. 2010 and, and you've yeah. been successful? Successful ever, ever since. Uh, when I got back in them, uh, I was good friends with Jerry O'Keefe. Unfortunately, Jerry's no longer with us. But uh, at that time, Jerry had the pigeons off uh, a man called Jack Walker, which was the old oh original top, top pigeon man. Yeah. Uh, the old Mark original M. D. Evans pigeons. Yeah. Uh, I went, I went to Blackpool in 2010 with Jerry, and uh, Jerry introduced me to, to Jack. And we were just having a conversation, Jack and Jerry, and uh, myself. They were just listening in. And Jack was telling, you know, we already had some of the pigeons off, and he was telling him about, like, you know, you're looking for pigeons handling or always sign or anything. He says, these pigeons are not good people. He said, do you want pigeons to win? He says, these, like are, need, yeah. these are the pigeons. So, like I said, my ears picked up at the time. And I remember Jack saying to Jerry, he said, I would send you over a pair in 2009, a black cock, and he said, a blue hem and no rings. He said, that blue hen will fill your half of winners. That's what he said. And was he right? And I tell you, that's why we came back and had a good thing about it and you know myself and Jerry were the best of friends and Jerry bred me a few off the original pins he got off Jack but uh, in 2011 uh, Jerry had a, a knee operation and he couldn't do anything for five weeks and you know I went out every day for, for five weeks and looked after the pins but before that like I used to go out with Jerry up every second or third Sunday and you know go out to Sandy Hill or we go to Hunts or whatever and you know every week I say to Jerry, you know, what you win with this week? Yeah. And he say that blue tipper and so he say what's her off? He said the black cock and the blue hem and all things. Every every time I went out, that's what Jerry said. And did you end up with them two people? What happened was I look, went out to Jerry for five weeks, every day for five weeks, and then when Jerry got back on the speed, him and the Mrs. Ann called me into the house. And I said, what, what's fucking wrong now? And uh, they sat me down to sit down and Jerry said to me, he says, uh, you know, fair play to Hopper and I looking after the kids for five weeks. He says, uh, I want to give you a present. He says, Jerry, look, I don't want family. I said, I don't want friends. That's what made still. Yeah. And he says, no, he says, I want you to go out to the stock loft and take a pair of pigeons out. I says, Jerry, I don't need to go out to the stock loft. He says, well, I says, I'll take the black cock and the blue hem and the whole And that was, that was it. That was Jerry nearly doing it. You're only, you're only half mad. But that's, that's, that's where it started. And from that day, from when I got them pigeons in 2011, the first year, 2012, I'd never looked back at them pigeons. Unbelievable. I mean, Frankie Murphy got a, a land of a daughter of my black boy pigeon, bred the best pigeons Frankie ever had. Um, Murphy Brothers in Newtown, 68 and 69, uh, they're top pigeons. I mean, them pigeons 
or not. They don't for none of them. I just had a look at them, uh, some of them earlier, and they're a real, real family of uh, pigeons here, and some very, very good ice sign yeah, pigeons well. as well. Now, I used what's your mad on it, the ice sign that doesn't bother me, ice sign or anything. It's when they come and quick on a certain yeah. day, that's it. Like, you know, keep a very, very People. simple. People always talk about the theory, what theory you go on. Yeah. I remember saying to someone years ago, I go on the feet theory. And so what's, what's the yeah, feet theory? True. The two set yeah. of feet on the landing board, and that's how you know they're yeah. good ones, you know? Well, look, it's, it's a constant. If it's week in, week out with the pigeons. No good thing up one week and down the net, we want pigeons over fun. Week in, week out. I mean, I've had a lot of pigeons here. I've had probably over 20 off Jack. Yeah. Uh, direct old Jack Walkers. Uh, just them down just to the them down. There's the, the foundation pairs is the three pairs I started off the journey in, in 2011, 2012 and they're the pigeons one or two you know and that's all that makes it through them towers. Well you see um, you live over here in Ballyogan. Ballyogan yeah, yeah. Ballyogan. And yeah. still you're in a club over in the north side of Dublin. Why is, why is that? Uh, well it, look going back in uh, 2000 and uh, to, when I came back in 2000 and well, when I was racing in 2007, there's a rule in the Stalorgan Club that if you get your clocks out of your race, you have to wait for the transporter. But the transporter wasn't coming to probably between quarter to ten and a half, ten at night time. Yeah. We had young kids at the time, uh, Jerry, and uh, you know, kids out for ten running around. Oh, the day, so. I just had to, to leave, and but that's what I said. I said, so it's on going to the Irish South Road Fed. Uh, Bermo and Tony Dillon and Charles Dillon and all them lads were over there and he said, you know, come on, we do the boards between half five and seven o'clock. So Which suits you down to the ground? Which suits me work and things like that. So that's a challenge. So I was in, like I said, in 2017, I raised my first race in the Irish South Road Fed. And like I said, I switched back. I want to switch back. Things changed. The kids got older. We're working on no. trying to get home in the evening. Like Bermo got out with the pigeons and council made them take down his lofts and I think 2019. So like John is now rushed to get back yeah. home from you know from work. So uh, it was hard to get home here yeah. and get get the boards done. So uh, we tried to go back into the South Road Fair, into the Irish East Coast Fair, put an application back into the and wouldn't let me back in. So. I had to go to Tamara Hoy. Were you the tough lawyer in Stalaga when, when, when you did leave it to go to the South? I was always there, uh, as far as I can remember, going back, I was always the tough lawyer in there. I can't remember ever uh, not being the tough lawyer in the Stalaga. So, uh, that was my mother and father, you know. They were yeah. always there, uh, top pigeons. Look, my mother and father were pigeon people, and I mean, they were dedicated, you know. And then you moved, and uh, you were out of winning a few titles, didn't you, in the in the South Road Fed? What did you actually I win? There. I remember you winning the Channel Average there. Well, in 2000, year. just uh, just the thing. In 2018, I had uh, with the best pigeon in the Irish Home and Union. Uh, with the victorious award in the Irish South Road Fed, Section G Fans of the Year, uh, best channel for in the South Road Fed in 2018. Uh, I won the Shayla Hand Trophy in 2019, 2019 for Sam. Two years yeah. in the Two years in the trial, yeah. Unbelievable, yeah. I don't know whether that was best, ever best done pigeon, before. Best pigeon on the channel in 2018 and second best in 2019. And when did you leave to go to the Malahoy Club? Malahoy Club, I joined the Malahoy Club in, in 2000, 2020. So you were you you top of your game leaving the South Road Fed. Oh, oh, yeah, you didn't leave because yeah. you, you oh, weren't no, competing. No, no, were, no. It was really just down to the times of just, having just the, the times and we're walking thing and that, like I said I joined the Malahoy Club and fast and we pigeons up the half eight there at night time. But yeah. I don't I don't go home from work. Some night days I do be home at five. Some days I do be home at six. And the Malahoy Club is just not an ordinary club. The Malahoy the Club is the they say the shell ones the or the, the Sarsfield Club is the, the Premier League of you know sprint racing. Well, the Malahoy Club is the Premier League of channel racing. Ah, oh, it's unbelievable. The, it's great. the, the legendary Joe Donny is Donny, yeah. Tommy Spears, Joe Roy, Finn Morn, you name it. And I mean the likes of you know John Ellis and you have Dave Ward, all them lads top keen as anything. Oh, I mean they no are. Doubt about it. They're they're Joe Donny even to this day sends a couple of pieces to the Kings Cup and they're 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 and never fails. You know le what le I mean? Absolutely so a legend, Tommy Spears, and he made me so welcome. I have to say, and all the years I've been in pigeons, them lads look after you. Know, and you win, you win, and that's it. But they're as keen as. Look, I mean, them lads are proper, yeah. proper fish and pen, like and the bumps in the channel. And how did you get on competing again, them? Boys, yeah, the the first, boys. I only raced two races in, in 2020, that's all. Uh, Tavney and Dewitt. Uh, the first race was second and eighth club, I was 30th August. Uh, the second race, which which was uh, Dewitt, I was uh, I was first, second, third. First, second, third, 
fifth and sixth, and I was uh, second, third, ninth, thirty fifth, and forty eighth. That was the only two races. How many pigeons had you away? And I think I had sixteen pigeons away in both of them races. I would stick to the same numbers when I. Was and many did you? Uh, what was your returns like? Well, they do have great returns, believe it or not. Harvey is, is a disaster for a lot of people. We seem to get great returns over, like you know, a lot of times. Remember in in the Irish they were all fed and. In 2019, it was just a disaster of a race with uh, well, was 11 pigeons away. Uh, that's all I raced in, in 2018. The Irish Open had 11 pigeons to start the channel with. I remember going to the club and I had uh, 9 pigeons in the club. And the only one I had was only one other lad at the club that had a pigeon, and that was, and that was it, Jerry. You, and you had 9 in the club? I had 9, nine, nine going to the club, that's what I had. And then with the whole club, there was only, only one, one lad, Only one lad had a pigeon, that was it. Uh, and they're all from this little small family of pigeons. Small, they're, 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 based, they're based around three pairs of pigeons, that's what they're based around, Jerry, yeah. So that the old original band of baby pigeons, yeah. So that brings us up to uh, 2021, yeah. many races. 2021, which is this year. I only raced four channel races this year, which were the uh, two Cavendish Bugle and Penzance. Uh, the first Cavendish race was first, second, fourth, fourth, fifth club, second, ninth, uh, second, fourth, ninth, fifteen, and twenty at Auburn. Uh, the next race, Cavendish again, it was first, second, fourth, fourth, sixth, and eighth club, and it was second, twelfth, fifteen, twenty fourth, twenty ninth, third. Uh, Bugle was first, second, and tenth club, fifth, eighth, and thirty seventh Auburn. And Penzance was first and fourth club. 9040 at Auburn. That is super for farmers. Yeah. You know, again, and only 18 pigeons. That's all I sent 18 pigeons. And I'm going to return the first race at 15 out of the 18. The second race at 16 out of 18. Uh, the, the other race, uh, the, the build race, I, when I was going to the club, I had 15 again out of the 18. And a lot of that hadn't even clocked. Mm. Uh, the last race, I was four, uh, 14 out of 25. So, that was, uh, I was going to ask you the question, but I think you're already answering it. You know, most of us, when we go out the back for the channel race, we're hoping to get a, yeah. a, a pigeon. What way do you feel when you're coming out into your garden? I know, we send them. We don't send them to be second. I don't send them the lose, and we send them. And I know on a Saturday, we'll get them pigeons. They northwest are, wind, you well, work oh, out. Oh, I love northwest winds. I fucking do a dance in the garden on the northwest wind. I love my hands, I know. The steady stuff, the cream's gonna come to the top. Is that, they, they really do. But uh, like I said, you know, good pigeons. You know, it's, and it's not just to deal with the pigeons, it's everything. It's the feeding in them, it's the medication, it's the looking at them, you know. Mm. Uh, like I said, in 2017, uh, I worked with John Bernie and Bernie was calling me. Yeah, and yeah. Bernie had to be in everywhere, doing the blood yeah, and the heat. Yeah, he's very good, yeah. Pretty like what John knows about pigeons and feeding and medication and things like that is the second number. I had a conversation with John. Uh, in 2017, and uh, I was sat in the car for an hour on the phone with him, like he, you know, mm -hmm. talking to him, and you know, what he said about feeding and medication and things, like, it opened my eyes up, like I said to myself, you know, yeah, this, is, you know okay. this is another step, and like I said, I came in, I wrote her off up and down, and, and that was it, 2018, 2019, the pigeons, whatever, you know, just level. stepped up to it, whatever the devil, yeah. Oh. Okay, so you were out of bringing this up, so you might as well tell the people what way would you prepare the pigeons and when well, these. All the pigeons are raised on widowhood, I don't raise them on eggs, I don't raise them on youngsters, nothing like that. They're on, that's, I raise them on widowhood, the gel, not even the jealousy, I just, you know, I yeah. train up the hens that are around about, they go in, the hens are in here, the cocks are in here, I don't let them look good, our lads do, let them out and they go back in, they come out that side, they go back in there, but they, they, I pair them up. Let them sit actually bond them to that. But the only time they go back into the racing section is when they go in the basket. That's, Super, that's yeah, the way yeah. it so is. They know they they the, hen, the hens are sprinting then all the time. You, can raise, the them, you can raise them on eggs and youngsters, but you won't get that consistency five yeah. or six weeks. You, you might have a good race this week, you might be sitting on eggs twelve days, or they might be sitting on chipping eggs, you get that one good race out of them. But I want them yeah. I want them every week. I don't want pigeons one week and but you know, I'm not there the next week. It's great to see that you've only a little, I'm sure Eddie's had a, Eddie's had a give, shown you the back garden, small. it's a very small set up there, so you, you, the maximum, as you say, you would send would be 16, 18 pigeons. Yeah. Eight, 18 pigeons was the, and it was the last race of the season, I was at that, that many pigeons, I sent 24, believe it or not. That was that was the biggest, of, probably the most I ever sent. Yeah. Uh, but like I said, I only keep three, many, well, 30 youngsters a year, probably 34 youngsters. 
and uh, anything between probably 20 and 30 hours. That's that's it. Probably that's, that's very very especially if you concentrate. Uh, that's it. And do you not compete in the races of Ireland? I'm not interested whatsoever in the inland racing. No, no time whatsoever for inland racing. And a lot of the time, the pigeons I send, I lifted our first race, we straight into Tavany. Yeah. I'm trying them, and that's it. Straight into the Tavany races. That's and the uh, what feeding did you say? The you feed is, like I said, Bermond gave me a feed system in there in 2017, and like it's very, very light. It'd be probably 20 percent barley. Yeah, 30 percent barley. But yeah, the thing yeah. about it is, they are fed twice a day, every day, as much as they want. Yeah, and that's that's that's, that's the way it that's is. Unbelievable. Yeah. Barley, though. To me, now barley, I wouldn't have thought it's that would have been right. It's a light, light mix. Yeah. Uh, Charles, you, but you can't argue with results. Well, you know what I mean? You can't oh, argue you can with results. But you, you put your pigeons on it. And I mean, the, can, the way they are, they're always in good form. They're all, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah, they're in good condition. The field goes through them very, very quick. They're always, you know, you can keep them immaculate the pigeons and have droppings and everything like that. What would you think would you be your best performance? Eh, uh, it's hard. You know, I've had a lot of good performances. I like the old team performance than individual performance. But I've had, uh, I remember in 2018, I sent uh, four pigeons to Penzance and I was torn and four to open. Uh, How many pigeons you sent? Four. Torn and four, two together. Uh, Darren O'Toole and Bray was first and uh, Martin Walsh was second. And that was the velocities are down in the 1100s. Hard, hard race. Dead race, race you like. together, yeah. yeah. It's nothing, you know what I mean, gone out into your back garden, as I said earlier. In, uh, there's a hoping to get a timer, but you know I you're know, going to. No, I'm not being copy or anything like that. I just know when I send them, you know yourself. If they weren't right, I wouldn't send them. When they go, they go, and they get some, and good returns. I'd never, like, la la la, say you do well, you get 50%. I wouldn't be happy with 50%. I need to get them. That's the way. A lot way of lads right get a lot less than 50%. You know? No, I but that's, that, that's the way. I, I, you know what I mean? I always think of, you know, first six and first ten. That's what we do. We scrape it out the last, we do. We, yeah, yeah. In the opens and that's so I don't, uh, I don't hold back with them, you know. And uh, you're going to tell us a little bit about your feelings. So what, what would you put in the water during well, the well, week? Well, this is where an awful lot of lads go, uh, go wrong with the old pigeons. They're putting soda vinegar and they're putting all bits and pieces in there in the water. But pigeons don't drink. It's like you put a spoonful of soda vinegar in a glass of water and drink it. You know, the pigeons should have nothing in their water. So you just give them plain water? Oh, no, I treat, don't get me wrong, I treat the pigeons. We treat the pigeons before the start of the season. What would you treat them for? I treat them for everything. I treat them for they get their, their job and they, then I'd probably put the, uh, everything on basil probably for 10 days. And then for the start of the season, we'll put them on probably a combi mix or something like that. Yeah. And that's and that's it. Well, but like when I get when they go to the first race, I leave them for three or four weeks. If they're doing well, I don't need to treat them. You know, you mm. don't need to be treating them like lads do week in, week out, giving them something to, you know, something in the water. Only when things go wrong, I I treat them. Yeah. But, see, with me, like I've only four or five places a year. Are you only interested in them four or five channel races? So everything has to be. Right, leading up to them races. And yeah. would you would you put them into some of the inland races? Sometimes I do. I go to Malahoy with them. We wouldn't put them all in. I might, like I said, if I had thirty, I might just bring fifteen in. But I do an awful lot of training myself. Uh, How far would you train from? I go to Jack White's with them. I'd be would up some miles here. It'd be half hour in the morning. We go to Jack White's. <laughs> yeah. So I then go to do a day's work. Go home in the evening, and then you know an hour in the evening, then get the kids training. Four or five nights a week, the kids training, which is hard. But like I said, it's not all about training. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember going back to Bermond, I'll keep going back to Bermond. I'd love to get into Bermond's head and have a good ring around and he's... Bermond will be famous after this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. His phone will be ringing non-stop. Credit where credit's due, Jay. No, I'd put me back on the air thing. But Bermond was working with me on the buildings there, I think it was back in 2017. And couldn't train his business. He used to let them out in five or now, now and a half. And he was up week in, week out with the other side of the whole fed. You know, yeah, and I know, like, you know, flying around the house, you never trained them pins for five or six weeks. And uh, you'd always train yours, would you? Yeah? Always, well, my hands, I let my hands out to do two circles and they're back down. You want to get back, <laughs> back into, into the, the thing. thing. The cocks are fly for, you know, they let them over now, they fly for now, but that's, yeah, a, yeah. that's the truth. The hands are there. But you don't need to be sending them up and down the road all the time. Many, many, many days a week would you go to Jack Weiss? If I could go five days a week to Jack Weiss, I'd go five well, days a week. Yeah. If I could go, to, it doesn't bother me whether I go five days or whether I go two days. It's having the pigeons right, it's the right frame of mind, that's it's the motivation of wins rises. And if you, if 
you get the clock set? Do you get the clock no, set for the never, inland races? No, never get the clock set for the inland races. No interest whatsoever in inland. And that has been the French races are the same, national races, not even just interested in whatever it is the East Coast Federation or the Irish South Road Federation. Yeah. yeah. But I honestly think that the best pigeons, the best channel pigeons and the best spring pigeons are in Dublin. Oh, yeah. Over there, we have yeah. some of the but fantastic flyers in, in Dublin. But I think it's, it's a special type of pigeon. I know. But that was really good families of pigeons that would sprint up Ireland yeah. and the same pigeons you put them on the water and the, they won't cross the water so I think you're lucky that you actually have a family as you say a little small family yeah. of pigeons around uh, three pairs that you obviously show no fear whatsoever to the water. Well what happens in an eye find what happened with an awful lot of lads when I send me pigeons to the channel race I send me this I said, don't care. Well, they were first open the fucking week before. First open for me. A lot of lads get pigeons winning out and put them into stock dog. Not for me. Yeah. I want them <laughs> four or five, six top positions in, in the opens and then they'll go in and keep me best pigeons. So far, me best pigeons in the, in the stock dog. No good winning out. I think they'll win it one day. And no <laughs> you like the well, down, and What happens in all our lads as well? They're, they're trying their pigeons racing them up and down the world. You know, Sprint racing, and then come these are the pigeons who are not doing well. They throw them into the channel and how to get them. But that's that's what happens there. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what happens. There, you know, yeah, yeah. Yeah. same as the channel of the French races and all that. You get them, and then you know you get you have a good French race, and you load the pigeons home, and that get the molly college and the pigeons sort of hold up in the air. Next year, the French race are hard days, the pigeons are gone. You know, so yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I handle the pigeons and the. Dust. They're super pigeons. The reason why we're here anyway is to promote the auction that you're yeah, having yeah, on yeah, yeah. Saturday, the yeah. 4th of uh, December. 4th of December, yeah. Sarge Sar Sar Field, Sar Sar yeah. Uh, viewing yeah. time, uh, I think it's uh, 1.30 yeah, to 2.30. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The 27 pigeons that you have, in only 27. Yeah. Um, you said you'd have no problem standing over each other. Hundred percent. Them pigeons are twenty-seven pigeons. They're a family of pigeons. Them pigeons are all related in every way. We got other bits and pieces of pigeons. And like I said, my bread more than them. It's there's probably thirty-six or thirty-seven pigeons that could have been into the auction. Yeah. These pigeons are the ones we picked out. These are all the best of the pigeons. We stand over them. One hundred percent. So you probably yeah. be getting beaten by your own pigeons. Oh well, like I said, I do be happy. Yeah. I, I be more, like I said, I got to a stage and like that. I do be happy when lads win with the pigeons. You know? But not many people have them. Who, no. who would who would have them for me that started doing all Yeah, but well, there's Charlie Kenny out, out of the Malahoy Club, the second Malahoy Club. We sent him out for this year as a present. And uh, his first young was race this year. He was, uh, I think Charlie was first, second, fourth, fourth, and sixth. And the first and fourth pigeon was uh, over the pair we gave him. Jimmy Roberts, the same. Jimmy had, uh, I think, five of me this year. He done, I think, the first race of the season. Would have won the race on the pigeon wouldn't clock. But that's not here nor there. But, you know, a lot of lads do well with them here. Uh, and didn't uh, Tony Dillon, he won the open in uh, Tavney in 2019 with him. Uh, first open Tavney, and then he had two off the orphan. Uh, he sent the two, he, when he was getting out with the pigeons, the council made them take down his loft in uh, 2019. He sent all the pigeons, I think it was 27 or 32 or something. He sent he two off the orphan, first two pigeons he got, he finished up second and fourth club, and he was uh, 19 to 44 to open out the orphan. Oh, yeah. stuff. So who's ever got that? Yeah, the Darren McGauley. Darren McGauley's the same. Darren got a, a son off the number one pair. Uh, we ran Darren three or four times to try and buy the cock back off him. Yeah. <laughs> he got over nothing. I offered him 500 euros or a bag. He wouldn't take it. But the pigeons had the breed and uh, some good pigeons on the channel. I think two winners in the club and I think eight and 19 to open or something. And it all depends on Darren there. Yeah. <laughs> Darren's a good lad. Yeah. And did... Uh, Kevin Rooney. Kevin Rooney had one off, uh, off the Kerry Cock and the Twenty Hen in 2019. He had, and he was, uh, he was first close, first section in the NIPA. I would have me. So just showing you. Yeah, so yeah, wherever yeah. they go, yeah. wherever they go. I know yeah. when the, you told me you, you wouldn't have many pigeons for the sale. Yeah. I asked you to pick out a special pair pick that would yeah, yeah. get someone. Clocking pigeons out of the channel. What? Well, I the pair. I, you said it to me, and uh, like I said, I picked out the pair, which is uh, a son of the, uh, the Kerry cock and the twenty hand, which would be the same way. It's the blue cock lot fifteen. Blue cock, uh, blue cock, cock uh, lot fifteen. Yeah, uh, that's it with the Kerry cock and the twenty hand. And the hand I picked out is a uh, 
It's out the old original 11, he's an 11B pigeon paired up with a kind of smoky uh, hen of uh, walkers. Now uh, Jamie Kelly uh, had, has a pigeon this year, I, I sent them to Jamie, which uh, was one of the best racing pigeons this year. I think he had second open, no, uh, fifth open, no need to open, which would be a full brother to that pigeon. So, Super, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then the lot number 27, the pencil. That's the, that's the pencil, that's the brother to uh, Jamie's, the cock Jamie has on me, and uh, he's, well, that cock is, yeah, he's, he's, he's flew very well this year. He was one of the best racing pigeons at the lot this year. But this hen, uh, the, the, the lot 27, she raced herself, didn't Race, she? She raced her, uh, she was uh, four club beaten by three last nights this year, and she was 24 to open. Yeah, yeah. many times she six, six times she flew the channel, yeah. So that'd be yeah. a super pair of pigeons. Super pair of pigeons and she's been down like she's been in the cock like you know, the pigeons are coming six, seven, eight together, you know. And uh, like I said, just miss sure I'm not letting your pigeons go on Ross Slayer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. But like I said, uh, that, that's what I picked out. Uh, like I said, they're there with the better pigeons and yeah, so lot 15 and 27. Lot 15 and 27. We're out of there. To be ready made to breed channel Ready, ready made, yeah, definitely. Yeah, if they were going to breed a pair of pins up on the breed good channel pigeons. David and Paris, yeah. Okay, we'll have a have a look at uh, some of the your stock pigeons there. You have a yeah. really impressive uh, team of stock uh, pigeons. I was really impressed with them when I was here a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, maybe we just get a look at some of them there. Often. Yeah. Okay, you have uh, a real nice checker hen here in your hand. What is she? She's she's a daughter of the original pairs of Jerry. The, the fathers are now eight pigeons. The mother was now six. Uh, this hen is the mother, the the twenty hen. Uh, she's a full sister to the mother of Tony Dillon's old woman. She's a full sister to the mother of Murphy Brothers in Newtown 68 and 69. Uh, she's bred some good pigeons. She was a great racing pigeon. She's warm for me. She's flown the channel. And uh, she really is a fantastic hen. And what was it? The, the, this is the mother of the 20 hen. The mother of the 20 hen, yeah. Anybody into the ice would like this hen? I'm not oh, a nice hen. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Not a nice time he's elf, but I know yeah. a good eye when I see one. This hen is a fantastic. So this is the mother of the 20 hen. The mother of the 20 hen. What did the 20 hen win? The 20 hen was the best pigeon in the Irish Home and Union to 2018. She was the best pigeon in the Irish in the Irish Sour Off Head in the Channel 2018. She was the Metorious Award winner 2018, the Irish Sour Off Head. She was Section G pigeon. Uh, best pigeon in Section G. The whole of Section G in 2018 and the best channel pigeon in Section G in 2018. Okay. On the Shayla Hand uh, Trophy in 2018. She's a super mm -hmm. hand. And is it a pigeon in the sale off this hand? There's here? two two uh, sons off her, so which would be they'd be half brothers to, to the, the 20, 20 hand. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, She's a fabulous yeah. hand, she is. Yeah. You can see why these pigeons have no yeah. fear of that water at all. And you well, have them in super condition. The father, the father, the 20 hen is a full brother to Bob Dylan and the Kerry Pop. So, like I said, you can three. Yeah, them three foundation pair, uh, pigeons. The three pairs have been fantastic. Yeah, well, I know from uh, doing the sales list there, they are just spread around yeah, a few pigeons. It. Everyone, you know they're related in some, in some way, yeah. Maybe we'll have a look at this hen's daughter, the 20, 20 hen. hen. Yeah, that's the yeah. 20 hen that's now. The 20 it? hen, yeah. She's pretty like her mother, the same way as the mother and everything. She's yeah. a beautiful, beautiful hen. And this is the Meditorious Award winner, the Seamus Lahan Trophy yeah. winner in the Irish Home and Union yeah. for the Best Performance Pigeon. Uh, Meditorious Award winner, yeah. Section J, Best Pigeon in Irish Sour Off. Mm, she's a big type of a pigeon, she is, yeah. but Jamie. So when you sent her, you knew she was coming? Well, like I said. They stand the guard, but they're the sort of pins you need to be sent at the the clock in the water. And what there. type of positions had she got in the cell row fed? Yeah, she was, I think she's far, she's been far to open. Uh, she's been, I think, 57 to open, she's been 49 to open, so on. Uh, I just haven't gotten the hand, but she has. Uh, but she, she had, had to five, be. five weeks, she was five weeks in the trot in the in the open positions in the other cell row There you go, there's yeah. not too many pigeons yeah. can say that in the history yeah. of the Federation. Yeah, she's. Yeah. Thing. Yeah, she's a beautiful yeah, hen. She's a nice hen here. Just a hen I call Casey after the granddaughter. Yeah, uh, Casey only ever had five races in her life, five channel races. She's been uh, she's been second open. Yeah, view it. She's been uh, ninth open Penzance and 39th open uh, Tavany. And she's put into the stock. She went straight to stock there uh, this year. So she's breeding, turning out the winners as well. Yeah. I know you said you're not into ice, I mean, you must be the fabulous eyes in these pigeons. 
Uh, uh, but she's a great. So many times on the trap was she in the open results? She was uh, five races and three opens, three open results. Yeah. And she's been in the clock. She's been clocked every time, just beating by lock me into the prices, isn't it? Yeah. She's a beauty. She's not an over a big hen no, either. She's well, uh, super fed. Yeah, yes, fed and quality second to none. There's a direct, there's a direct sun off her in the in the auction tag up to Bob Dylan. Well, Dylan, which yeah. is uh, one of the number He's one top, breeding. Yeah, one of the top, top racers, yeah. Oh, super. Be- and breeding cock. And breeding cock as well, yeah. Yeah, she's a beautiful hen, so uh, watch out for this hen's uh, son in the sale. Okay, this is a class pigeon, blue cock pigeon here. You're already coming, taking out of the basket there to show us what is he. This is one of the original Jack Walker uh, band of babies. Uh, this pigeon came to me through Jerry. Uh, like I said, unfortunately, Jerry's no longer with us. For uh, his pigeons live on here. They'll always be. Uh, they'll always be here. It's unbelievable. Yeah. It's the twenty hand coming down for me. I know they'd be related. They'd be related. He'd be a grandson of a shadow. Jack had Jack Walker had something like 20, 21 or twenty two direct sons out of shadow from uh, M and D. Believe it's yeah. a, a beautiful cock pigeon. So it's the likes of this fella's children are all in yeah. the. He's the father of uh, lot 27, the hen. Oh, he's the father he's of the, the pencil hen. She's a beautiful hen as well. Yeah, yeah. I was lucky enough to handle He's it. bred a lot of top pigeons on the channel. Getting yeah. old now, he's 2011. Tell you one thing, for 2011 pigeons, yeah. 10 year old, he's in some. I put two sons off him last year into the stock lot, Gary, yeah. So someone has a chance of putting a daughter from him into they're their the best, stock lot. They're the best loans of pigeons, them pigeons. You want pigeons to fly the water, and them pigeons as well. And as I said about uh, lot number 20, she's flown the channel six times. Six, she's been six in the times, she's been, been beaten by lot mates. She's been like far club, 23rd open hours there. Uh, you know, cocky, yeah. Is, yeah. So definitely something from this fella into the stock. No, no, yeah. There's uh, the, the hen and there's two direct off him with the old with the old original hen of uh, Jack Walker. So there's three off him in this fella. Uh, three off. Three off, off yeah. yeah. Looked him to let them go, but oh, like I said. The 2011 thing. But uh, as you said, uh, there's no way you would have a sale if you weren't putting your best pigeons uh you have to say that, you know what I mean? Like I said, only a small team of pigeons. We don't breed off the racers, everything I breed is off the stock pigeons. Anybody who knows me, I'm ruthless with pigeons, so you don't, uh, you don't get a chance if they're not, if you don't win, you don't start. And uh, you reckon this is just a one off sale as well? It might be a one off sale, or else, you know, uh, a clearing sale in another year or two, but uh, I sure take I'm around for that. I take, like I said, I'm taking a year out next year with family and things like that, so. Uh, you're big into your family, which is oh, great. Really. As well, well, the kids, like the granddaughter and the son, I uh, spend an awful lot of time with them, and I uh, enjoy. Well, you know what I mean. There's more to pigeons. A lot goes into pigeons, and I just need to take a break for a year or two. So I just said, I just said, I'd let a few pigeons go, and that's and that's it. So you're not going to race it next year? Next year I won't be racing there. I'm going to take a year off next year to spend it with the kids and things with that family. And Oh, yes, and he's some pigeons for the 10 year old cock. Hey, beautiful checker cock pigeon here. What pigeon is this? This is a pigeon I call the orphan there, uh, Jerry. And uh, like I said, he's no rings on him. And the reason I call him the orphan is he was bred in the, the little stock lock up there, no rings on him. And I offered him to a lot of lads that came down to take him. And no one would take him because he had no rings on him. And I said, I said, I'll we'll leave him in here. And I said, I'll prove you lads wrong, you should have took him. And uh, he's turned out to probably be the best pigeon in the shed at the moment. Oh, but he was a beautiful cock. Oh, he's some pigeon. I don't know how some of the boys left this lad behind yeah. and again, another fantastic eye. Yeah. What has this lad actually bred for you? Well, this year alone, in uh, 2021, he bred the first two channel yeah. races, the two cabinets. He bred first club, second over. Uh, the following week, he bred first club, second fed. And last year, he bred toward the ninth over last year. Uh, so he's bred some fantastic pigeons. Beautiful cock and he's yeah. on, on the He's a full brother to the mother of the 20 hen. He's a full brother to the mother of Tony Dillon's open winner. So all the best. Unbelievable, there. yeah. And that's what, I, again, I'm saying, the whole of the yeah. little small setup, you can't afford to keep a lot of uh, yeah. stock with you wouldn't have the room, but just a small little family well, of pigeons that are flying the channel for fun. 
It's but unbelievable. My stock lot, I'd probably have probably 16, 17, 18 pairs of stock pigeons, but they're all a family pigeons, they're brothers and sisters, they're all them. That's that's what you have. Oh yeah, you can yeah. handle you can handle one, you handle them all. Mm. He's a beautiful cock. Okay, I believe this cock is a uh, very special to you that you have. Is this the Kerry cock himself? This, this is the Kerry cock himself, yeah. We're able to do. Great yeah. racing. Please just tell us about his racing performances for us. He raced, like I said, uh, in the early show row fair. He, I think he's uh, he's first club, first section four to open. Yeah. He's been he's been first club seventeen uh, seventeen to open uh, seventeen Fairdale Castle Town ten and a half thousand. So he's done it up the land. He's done it up land and channel, yeah. He has a good few out positions on on the channel. He's a great cock and then yeah. you stopped him. Did he win some award as well? Oh, that was Bob. He, he was he was the uh, he was the second, I think he was the second or fourth best pigeon in Section G in 2018. But he's won a lot, he's, he's 2014 pigeon. I've only the results for him for the 18 and 19, I just never bothered him now. But he's won, he's won in 2015, I think he won in 2016. And how'd you get on with him since you put him in the stock lot? Well, the I sent Kevin Rooney up in, the, in Northern Ireland, it was, when he was paired up to the 20 hand, I sent him up as a, 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 a daughter out of him. And the 20 hand and a one first, like I said, a one first, two first section. Super. 10 up the 8 caliber. Caliban. He's a super cocky, he is. He spreads some good, good pins. Oh, yeah, you can see there's it. Two, there's two direct out of him with the 20 hand in the side. So there you go. Yeah. And she was the Meditories Award winner. And this Meditories one. Award winner. Oh, yeah. But this cock himself is now you don't even know many fours he won. <laughs> He's such a great, like I said, I don't bother with. Keep and fucking, you know what he went out to when the, the good ones are here and I put the good ones into the stock loft. That's where you go. You mm. breed off your best. Maybe a nice fella to have in the stock loft, all right? Yeah. Nice blue cock you have. I'd say he's related to the last blue cock fella we had. This is a pigeon there. Uh, Bob Dylan, I call this lad. He's uh, one of the best pigeons and one of the best stock pigeons in the loft at the moment. He's a champion, right? Actually, he's won the uh, best pigeon in Irish home here. He's uh, met the Tories Award, uh, 2019 South Row Fair. Uh, he's won the Shayla Hand Trophy. Uh, he's been second. He's been second in Section G on the channel to, to the 20. Yeah. So you had two best pigeons in, this. in the Irish Home and Young 2018 to 2019. Yeah. And uh, he. Uh, he, you put him into the stock lot and he, he bred some good pigeons in the stock He's lot. He's bred with a few sons and daughters off in the field the channel now this year. Um, yeah. he's, uh, he's been, like I said, he's only in the, I've only raced the five races in the last, uh, the six races in the last two years in the pigeons. You know, and, you know, I, I still have a lot of the pigeons in there. Um, but a lot of them have never been really tried. Uh, you know. So this is the famous uh, Bob Dylan. Bob, famous Bob Dylan. Yeah. And his brother is the Kerry Cock. The brother, brother's the Kerry Cock. Uh, his his sister is uh, the mother of Tony. The fa his, his full brother is the father of Tony Dylan's Open winner. Uh, and his other brother is the is the father of the Twenty Hen. Unbelievable. So yeah. just as again, just a small family of pigeons. They put him back. Super cock. Did you say he was five times in the old five, 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 five uh, channel? You only had five uh, race five races in 2019, five channel races, and he was in the clock every week. He was only ever once beaten to the last uh, by one pigeon there. Yeah. That's Bob Dylan. And that's himself. Bob Dylan himself, yeah. Super, yeah. Okay, this is a fantastic uh, dark checker hen. What's this hen? This is a uh, granddaughter of Shadow of M, M D Evans. This is direct there with Jack Walker. Uh, she's bred some fantastic pigeons uh, on the channel. She's paired up to the old 11B cock we were looking at earlier. Uh, there's a pair offered in the in the in the side, and they bred some fantastic pigeons on the channel. Unbelievable! She's a powerful hand. She's got a back on her Jamie. Yeah. She's really They're the old original ones from Jerry. Yeah. She's unbelievable hand. She is. Yeah. She's bred all the goods for you as well. A lot of good pigeons. Yeah. We're able to tell. She's bred some fantastic pigeons on the channel. There's two on the sale off. There's two direct on the sale of the old 11B cock, yeah. The old original Walker's pigeon. And she, uh, well, what's her name? Has she got a name? No, no, she hasn't got a name. But well, she is there. Uh, she'd be one of my favourite pigeons, yeah. Well, maybe name or no name. <laughs> She's a beautiful head, yeah. she is, anyway. Mm. So, how will lads know her two young ones in the sale? What year is she? She's 13B. 
She's a 13 B yeah. pigeons and there's two of them and you reckon that and they get it. Anybody gets pigeons from home, well, we definitely two, fly I've, the channel. I have two sons over in the in the, in the stock loft already and one of them this year bred me pigeons when I was 13 out. There you go. So. The back on her, I have to be honest. She, she's unbelievable. She's a granddaughter of that shadow. A granddaughter of shadow, yeah. She's a beautiful, beautiful hen. Mm. Okay, you can put her back there now. Okay, we're getting uh, close to just wrapping up. And I thought this pair of pigeons that I asked you to uh, select a special pair that would breed winners. Uh, we mentioned them earlier on in the video, but these are the two. This is the hen, the pencil, a pencil hen pigeon. She's lot number 20. She's lot number 20, 27. 27 she is. and. Our last is she 622 is our number. She's yeah. flown the channel she's flown, flown six times. She's flown the channel six times. She's been there uh, four club beaten by three large mates and she was 23rd open this year out with Havin. There you go. Mm. And, and she's in the clock a few times, she was beaten by large mates. And only for you not racing next year, this hen wouldn't be going anywhere. Well, she go, I put her into stock, I no problem we're going into stock. Like I said, I won't be racing next year. So what I'm is she there. from? What is she from? She's uh, from the old 11, the 11 beak. Parker Jack Walkers, one of the originals, mm -hmm. and the mother is the Smoky, the Smoky Hen, again direct out of Jack Walkers, they're yeah, the yeah. old original Van der Beely pigeons. And she's a beautiful, beautiful yeah. hen, this Lovely hen. Lovely pigeon, super feather, smashing oil. Yeah, she's got everything a good breeding pigeon is, and yeah. this is the cock the This is the cock I, pair, uh, I picked out the pair, he's direct off the Kerry cock and the 20 hen. There you go. Yeah, yeah. I, took him, I took this pigeon out of the stock off the printed style. There you uh, go, yeah. Like I said, uh, <laughs> and he's lot 15. He's he's lot 15. They're the pair, pair, pair. Look, if anybody wants pigeons to fly the water, you know, there's no guarantees, but I've always put pigeons into the stock off. They be the pigeons. There you go. So you have it straight in the horse's mouth. This is the pair of pigeons. So if you're in a hurry, you just want one pair, just. Yeah, Give us a ring, you've no problem anybody ringing you. No problem, anybody ring me, anybody wants to drop down. Like I said, I'll stand over the pins 100%. Anybody not happy or anything, so I'll just bring them back. There you go, yeah, yeah. Can't yeah. be any fairer than that. No, oh, I don't think you can, and I know I haven't really met you before, but I can tell the few times I've met you, you're a genuine guy. And, uh, oh, yeah, what do? Look, like I said, I'm, I'm going to put that video, but I can tell you anything, or write anything down on, on pedigrees, and I just don't care. I'd like people just to come and look at the quality of the pigeons. Yeah, you know, by quality. looking at them, like I said, uh, we've only a small setup, a handful of pigeons. I only send a couple of pigeons each week on the channel. I'm only interested in the channel. And I clock them week in, week out, and open, open the top results. Like in the last the last six open races, I haven't been out of, once out of the top 10 of the open. There you go. I mean, I don't know anybody around the goes. Super like yeah, super going, super going, yeah. And lot number 15 and lot 27. 27. Match, ma yeah. match, match pair. Yeah. pair. 100% Van Babies, the old Jack Walker Van and Babies, m and Okay, what I can say just before we finish, I wish you the best of luck Thank with you your sale. Yeah. I'm doing my best for you anyway, oh, but I don't, do. I think with pitches, it's not often. Uh, Pigeons like these come on the market. I'll never, you know, never put 27 pigeons up for sale again, I mean, that's for that I'm getting out. They'll no. never, uh, they'll never put a big team of pigeons like that. They're a family of pigeons. Oh, you can tell that, yeah, 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 you can tell you that. Know. So I look forward to seeing you all at the sale on uh, Saturday the 4th of December, Sarsfield Pigeon Club. Anybody who wants to know more about the pigeons, ring Hopper or else you can ring me. We'll have Hopper's phone number um, on the video. So. And believe me lads, I've handled a lot of pigeons, I've been involved with some good channel pigeons and these are as good as it gets, believe me when I say it. Okay, good luck Hopper anyway. Thanks Jerry, thanks very much. Thanks very much Eddie. My uh, pleasure coming down to handle ah, pigeons like this. Ah, once you're happy, that's some awesome yeah, part. Yeah, I'm yeah. happy with them, that's the... Okay, so yeah. we'll see you all in the Sarsfield Pigeon Club. Anybody's not able to make it, every pigeon that's in this sale is a phone call away and we'll get it delivered wherever it needs to go. Thanks again. Thanks again, and thank you.